hi everyone i want us to provide the solution to this problem in two detail this is x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 equals 20. now how do we solve this we are going to solve this trying to relate the left hand side and the right hand side Okay, we have x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2. And 20 here can be 10 plus 10. But 10 cannot be written in this form. The same 20 can be, can be 12 plus 8. But that will not exist in this form. So I can write 20 as 16 plus 4. Now this 16 plus 4 can now be in this form. Okay, so you would just say x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 is equal to 16. 16 is um, 2 to the power of 4. Okay, I would have written 4 squared, right? But I need this power of 4 over there. And then our 4 is 2 squared. And that is the same thing. Um, we have power of 2 here. Now, what do I do? From here itself, you can conclude or you can deduce that your x is equal to 2. But we have to solve it completely. So we cannot stop at this uh, at this point. So I'm going to bring x to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 4 together. So it becomes negative here. Then I have plus x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2. This is difference of 2 squares. This here is difference of work of um two. How do we say this one now? You know, this is um x to the power of four minus two to the power of um two to the power of four, right? Just like we call this difference of two squares, right? So this will be difference of two terms raised to the power of four. Let's let's call it that way and proceed. Now, what do I do now? I can do, I can break what I have here. So I have x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So if you like, you can have this in this um, square bracket. Okay, so this right here is the same as what we have here. Then we have plus x squared minus 2 squared. Oh, everything is equal to 0 if you can remember. We brought everything from here to the left, so there will be zero left on the other side here. And here again, we have the zero. We are still having our difference of two squares. Now, we can apply difference of two squares here and there. You know your a squared minus b squared is the same thing as a minus b into a plus b. Is that, I think that, that is okay. A squared minus B squared is equal to A minus B into A plus B, right? Difference of two squares. So here now, if we're going to write this using this idea, our A is going to be X squared and our B is two squared. So let's do that. And mind you, two squared is four. So I'll use four in place of B. A minus B is now X squared minus four. And then in the second bracket, it's going to be x squared plus 4. Then plus, if I go there now, my a is going to be x and b is going to be 2, right? So I'll now have this again. a minus b becomes x minus 2. Then here we have x plus 2. We still equate everything to the power of zero right so now what are we going to do if you look at this very well we don't have anything common to this and this but i can simplify what i have here because i know that from here i can have x squared minus two squared right i can have this from this particular one then this one is still here, x squared plus 4 is still there. Then plus, 
we have our x minus 2 x plus 4 as we still equate to 0 now what do you observe from here this can also be written using difference of two squares so I am going to do that right away so for me to do that by the way this is supposed to be 2 this is supposed to be 2 this 2 is coming down so from here now I'm going to write this as um, x minus 2 into x plus 2 the same difference of two squares then this one is still coming x squared plus 4 then I have this the whole of this x minus 2 into x plus 2 equals 0 now guess what we have now what we have here the whole of this is here the whole of this is here so what now is our common factor the common factor now is x minus 2 into x plus 2 now what will be left here is x squared plus 4 then okay let, let me have this let me have this let me have this so that we can understand it better then plus the whole of this is now out here so we're going to have one there this is not um, a square bracket okay so here now we are going to have one then we have a square bracket to close it up as we equate all of this to zero so if we proceed we're going to have x minus 2 into x plus 2 the common factor then in here we have x squared plus 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 will give us 5 square brackets and we equate to zero and then from here again i'm having three um bracket this this and this right but then i can never combine this do you know that i can apply difference of two squares here this right here is the same thing as x squared minus four this is what we have there then in this we have x squared plus five and then we have zero I hope this is not confusing so from here now you can have your x squared minus 4 to be 0 or x squared plus 5 to be 0 from here x squared is equal to 4 if you collect terms or from here x squared is equal to minus 5 so what do I do? Um, x will now be plus or minus the square root of 4 from here. Or x will be plus or minus the square root of negative 5. So that if we proceed now, x will be equal to plus or minus 2. Or x is equal to from here now. I can pick out that negative there and it gives me plus or minus we have i then we have root 5 is that understand um is that understood okay i believe this is understandable right because of this we are having this i no more negative okay before the 5 there now from here we're having two solutions we have x to be equal to 2 or minus 2 and then from here we have two solutions again we have x to be equal to i root 5 or negative negative i root 5 so this right here are the four solutions to the problem